labels, labels, labels. We give people a number of labels based on who we think they are, which is based on what society tells us is important. The labels we give to a person determine how we interact with them. This includes what we believe is deviant and criminal. Stemming from symbolic interactionism, labeling theory focuses not on the deviant or criminal behavior itself, but by society's reaction to the deviant behavior. How we respond to the behavior determines whether something or someone is deviant. Let's discuss an example of deviance that is not so clear in society. Medical marijuana. For decades, marijuana has been listed as a Schedule I drug, which means that it is just as dangerous as heroin or ecstasy. So for the longest time, medical marijuana was not even something to consider in treating certain illnesses. But perception and time have changed, and so have medical marijuana laws. In the U.S., medical marijuana laws vary by state, and, as of the making of this video, some states have not legalized medical marijuana. So how can we relate this to deviance? Let's say there's a woman, we'll call her Sarah, and she has found out she has cancer. She knows that using medical marijuana will help relieve the nausea and pain induced by cancer treatments. Simply by being in a state where medical marijuana is legal can determine whether Sarah receives a deviant label. If Sarah is living in Colorado, where it is legal, Sarah can apply for a medical marijuana card and make an appropriate doctor-approved transaction. Now let's say Sarah lives in a state where medical marijuana is not legal, Iowa for example, but she believes that the benefits would help her through the treatment process. Since it's illegal in Iowa and there are no locations to obtain marijuana, Sarah would have to get it illegally. She still wants it, although she would have to make the transaction in secret, and the price is pretty steep. If her friends and family found out, they may label her as deviant. If police caught her, she would be arrested, and society would definitely label as a deviant then. Why? In Iowa, it is illegal to grow, distribute, or consume in any way. In Colorado, marijuana is legal, doctor approved, and there are socially acceptable places to purchase marijuana so Sarah isn't likely to be labeled as deviant. The only real difference is location, but society's reaction to her behavior is very different. It's the same person buying the same substance, but in different locations. There's also something we call primary and secondary deviance. Primary deviance is a violation of norms that does not result in any long-term consequences and does not hurt a person's self-image. If Sarah lives in Iowa and buys marijuana illegally one time without getting caught, she doesn't experience any long-term consequences and her self-image is intact. If she continues to do it and is arrested, or even if society knows she continues to buy it but she's never caught, she very likely will receive a label as deviant. This is secondary deviance. This happens when a person's self-concept changes due to the label society gives that person. One deviant act may not change the way society reacts or the way a person sees themselves. In fact, we all likely recall when we have engaged in some type of deviant act. But when society puts a label on us, our self-concept begins to change. Sarah starts to see herself as deviant even though she believes there is a good reason for her to buy marijuana. She adopts the label and, in essence, she begins to live that label even if, deep down, she knows it isn't who she truly is. When someone is labeled as deviant or a criminal, it tends to become their master status. A master status is a chief characteristic of an individual. When people are labeled a criminal, it's hard for them to change that status and it follows them everywhere. When someone has committed a felony, they are labeled a felon and must report it when they apply for a job. They can't serve on a jury or vote in many states. Therefore, the master status of felon follows them in everything they do. So, what is one personal experience where you have either been the person labeling or the person labeled because an action was seen as deviant? How did the person respond to the label or how did you respond? What is one action that society defines as deviant and has a strong reaction to? What labels does society give those that are labeled as deviant? And how does what is deviant change based on what community and culture you are in.